Hi, Rainy Bastard Rash here. Have you ever wondered why it seems so hard to succeed at times? Lots of people have written to me saying, I work on my health, I constantly work on my wealth, even my relationships, but it just seems like I'm spinning my wheels. I'd like to give you a different way of looking at your situation for a moment that I think will change your life as well. Are you ready? Here we go. We are blended beings. Think of that. Physical and spiritual. What we call the visible and the invisible. We're a combination or a blend of conscious and subconscious working together. But the most powerful part of the two is the invisible. And if you don't believe that the invisible can be powerful, just try sticking your finger in an electrical socket. <laughs> no, don't. But it's very powerful. It'll knock you right off your feet, even though you don't see it. Now, everything was created invisibly or spiritually before it was created physically. Think about that and let me explain. The thought always precedes the creation. If you want to call it cause and effect, we're going to change that to thought and effect. Every effect you see, every result, began with a thought. This video that you're watching right now, I had to think about it. I had to take notes, figure out what I was going to say before I actually created it and you were able to watch it. So it was a thought first, a culmination of my thoughts. Your computer, someone had to create this computer. They had to think about it, how to put things together, what they wanted to do. And with all the tools they had available, this was the best computer they can make physically. So you can see they had a lot more mentally. It might have had music and rainbows coming out of it. But this was the end result of that thought. This was the effect. Your clothing, someone had to design it. So there was thought there. Thought created the, or the effect as the clothing. Your house, your car, even the meals that you eat, you think about, hmm, what do I want to have? And you go to the grocery store, you buy whatever you want, you come home, you put it together, and that food is a result of your thought. So everything, even the words that you say, well, at least most people should think before they speak, but you think in your mind what you want to say. And you say it. Sometimes it doesn't come out like you'd want it to. I mean, a young man who's really in love with a young lady and he wants to tell her how he feels and he's thinking he's there's the hearts and the rainbows and everything going on in his head. And he looks at her and he says, you're cool. Okay, what was that? I mean, that was the result, the effect and the cause of the thought was, you know, uh, so great, but it just didn't come out physically like it did spiritually or mentally. And guess what? Even your health, wealth, and happiness, or lack of, were also your creations. You created it invisibly or mentally, and you can change it the exact same way or enhance it if you want. It's like a tree. Think of this analogy. You've heard that a good tree bears good fruit. Well, the fruit would resemble your accomplishments in life. If you had bad fruit... Would you keep focusing on this fruit in the tree to change it? Would you just sit there and think, oh, I hate you fruit, or oh, I, why won't you change? Of course not. You're not going to curse at the fruit and get mad at it because the fruit is the result of how the tree was nourished and how it grew. It's the result of what happened below the ground, in the roots. It was invisible to you how it grew. In the same way, if you were sick or broke, would you get mad at your outcome or just sit there and dwell on how bad you had it? Your results came from your roots, your invisible parts, your thoughts, your beliefs, and your emotions. That's what created the effect, which is your health or how wealthy you were. You need to focus on the cause, the thought. So what do you want? How do you think about it right now? Your health, your wealth, your relationships, whatever you're struggling with. How should you be thinking about it? In the past, I spoke about creating positive affirmations of success, which are a very strong form of hypnosis. Now, affirmations are a positive statement about what you want that are in the present tense. But this time, I'm going to speak to you about something different. I want you to create what is called a declaration of success. 
What's the difference? Well, an affirmation is a suggestion to be accepted through repetition. A declaration is a formal announcement, okay? It's something that it's there, you believe in, you've created it. It's what you want now. It's what you are. Repetition of thoughts become emotions. Then they become habits and finally beliefs. Your new beliefs of success. So what kind of declarations do you want to create to make changes in your life? Here's a couple. I'm healthy and I feel great. That's a declaration. I believe that. I have more than enough money at all times. Or... I have the most wonderful relationship imaginable. That's not iffy. There's no room for variation. It's simply how it is, what I believe. So it's time to make some changes. Stop worrying about the fruit in your tree and start nourishing your roots. If you found this video helpful, please take the time to share it with someone. They'll thank you for it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.